guys. Um, I have, uh, been not making videos for a little while, uh, to take a little break. Um, this, I've done a lot of videos on Xbox games, but I was talking to one of my friends, and he said I should do a collection video and top 20, so I can delete the other two. Um, this is, like, maybe a fifth of the games I have. I have, like, 100 games on my, uh, under my bed in these drawers. Um, but let's get started. Um, there's gonna be two parts of this video. The last four are going to be in part two. I can get through 16, I'm pretty sure, right now. Alright, this is from least favorite to favorite games. Alright, to start off, 20. Fear 2. Uh, let's see, this, uh, pretty good game. Uh, kind of repetitive though. Uh, just to get boring after a while, you do lose track in the storyline. If you did not play the first one, you don't really have nothing to do with the first one whatsoever. Um, this game, I think, has better online than it does the campaign. The campaign can get really annoying sometimes. Um, I would definitely rent this game. Gears of War 2. I know this one used to be high, it like was high on the other two videos I made, um, but Gears of War 2, they're lacking in it now, they do need more DLC. I have not checked if they released any more, but last I know, they have not done anything. Um, it's a pretty fun game, I really like it for Horde more than the campaign, seeing I played the campaign 300 times. But I'd definitely pick this game up and keep it if you definitely like the first Gears of War. Uh, as you can see, it's not only number 19, so there must be a lot better games. Speaking of which, what's on my screen right now? Guitar Hero Metallica, uh, hitting in number 18. Uh, see, this is just personal preference. I love Metallica. They're my favorite band. They're the music playing right now. If you can hear it. Um... They're just my favorite band, so that's why it's number 18. I do have uh, games below it, other music games, but this is just personal preference. Uh, I like the other games better, music games better, because they're more variety, but I feel like Metallica, definitely the Guitar Hero game for you. On, an, on to another music game, Guitar Hero 5. Um, variety of songs, really good for... Uh, Older people, like 40s, 50s, and there's some stuff for the kids. Uh, let's see here. Like, let's see here. Smashing Pumpkins. Um, Coldplay. The Killers. Those are for the young kids. And there's like um, Johnny Cash on here. There's uh, This is like an all-age group game. This is a very good game. Uh, kind of shaky a little bit uh, with the whole calibration thing but um and you can fix that if you calibrate your guitar for some reason mine just doesn't want to uh if you don't have a guitar you can use any of the four instruments like every new guitar hero game that's being being released now <clears throat> bioshock great game um this is a rent game i used to say this was a buy game i think but this is definitely a rent because uh there's no multiplayer, and the uh, second one comes out in March, uh, pretty sure, so I can't wait to get that, but that has multiplayer. Um, this one, this is really good just to get you familiar for the second one. I would definitely rent this game. doesn't take that long to beat, though. This is uh, Wolfenstein. This is another good game. Uh, really great graphics, kind of shaky storyline. They say your name way too much, like, BJ, BJ, BJ. My friend won't stop laughing if you know what that means. Um, it's like, it's not all real, as you can see. It's like, it's definitely science fiction here. It takes place within World War II era. Um, definitely a rent game no one plays online. Another Guitar Hero game, Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Obviously, all the hits from every Guitar Hero game ever released, up till this one was released. From 1, 2, and 3. Um, they're all on here. A lot of good songs like Unsung by Helmet. 
Back in the Saddle by Aerosmith, Beast and Harlot, Van Sevenfold, Electric Eye. It's uh all the Smash shits, obviously. Boo! Look at the name. Um, very very good game. Uh, definitely pick this up if you like any of the Guitar Heroes. Let's see how many more Guitar Heroes are in here. One more. All right. After this one, Guitar Hero 3: Legends of Rock. A lot of people hated this. The last boss battle with Lau is really, really annoying. I actually broke three guitars because I got mad and I threw it. Um, this game is very fun. It has a great uh, set list. Just don't like the whole boss battle thing. and I don't like how they try adding a storyline in the Guitar Hero games. Now, finally, off the Guitar Hero games. There's only one more. Alright, this, Left 4 Dead 2. Um, very good it's uh it has more campaigns than the first one has more stuff than the first one but i think that they made left for dead now like now it's too complicated this is more for the more serious left for dead gamers left for dead one is more for like the oh let's get a couple buddies together and go run around but if you have friends that do play left for dead 2 seriously it would this would definitely be the game to pick over that so i'd keep both i do have both and the other one isn't here um this one takes place in the south, and they are having de releasing DLC for this soon. Alright, finally, not the top of the list. Halo 3. Very, 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 very fun game. Uh, great online. Storyline sucked asshole for the third one. Um, other than that, I can't really say anything else. Uh, Halo definitely takes more skill than almost any video game ever released. Um, even though people do call it Galo now, I still have serious respect for Halo. Um, Red Faction Gorilla. This, uh, very fun game. A lot of people don't play this game anymore. I'm surprised, but, uh, I went to go play it the other day with my friend. I was like, oh, I don't want to go play this. But I went to go play it. It was very, very fun. And I think people should definitely start playing this again. Um, Wrecking Crew gets boring. The campaign was really long, really fun. The explosive, everything is explosives. Um,. Borderlands, a uh, great uh, RPS while playing shooter. Um, for someone that's like never been heard of before, I don't really see many Gearbox games if you get an early or 2K. Um, the graphics are like a little cartoonish, you know, but I mean, what are you gonna mean? What are you gonna do? They have like so much DLC out for this already. Hasn't been out that long. Very fun. Definitely great to do with a bunch of your friends. Left 4 Dead 1, um, great, less campaigns, easier achievements, less complicated for the people who don't really understand and don't get games very easily, great game to get together with all your friends and all that, that was nice and easy, last guitar hero, guitar hero Van Halen, favorite guitar hero, uh, love Van Halen too, it's, um, it's great, and people who don't really listen to Van Halen, I really give these guys serious respect now they picked this game up. It's a very, very good game, and the Guitar Hero fans should either rent it, but I prefer, if you're a Guitar Hero diehard fan like me, go buy it. Fallout 3, great RPG. So much stuff in this game can keep you occupied for hours. One night, I was uh, up till midnight, I was like, I'm going to go to bed. I was like, yeah, I'll finish this, I'll play some little bit of Fallout 3. Next time I looked at the time, it was 5.30 in the morning, and I did, it felt like a minute. This is just a very time-occupying game, and keeps you busy for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, especially the DLC. The DLC is great, except for Mothership Zeta. This is a very, very great game. I would definitely buy this game if you're in the role-playing shooters. Okay, that concludes part one, because I'm almost out of time. I will leave my gamer tag uh, in the box over there. Um, the last four games are fairly new, except for the first one. Um... So please leave me comments and rate, and if you like my videos, subscribe, because I am running out of ideas. Um, so I would love your help, and I will be posting my band videos now, because my band finally got back together. Alright, thank you. Bye.